everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and I run Looks by Lens. As you can see by the title of this video, today we're going to be going over my current favorites. So these are going to be my favorites over the course of the month of February. Um, I was lucky enough to try out a few items from different beauty brands, fashion brands, and just kind of miscellaneous um, items I picked up over the course of the month. So these are the ones that stood out to me the most. Um, just so you do know, all my campaigns are over, so this isn't like a promotional video, it's not sponsored. These are just the ones that stood out to me the most um, and I've kept in my daily routine. So today I have 10 items to go over with you. A couple fashion, a few beauty, a couple like miscellaneous as well, but nonetheless awesome products. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start out with some beauty products first. So at first I have this Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector and Color Fair, obviously. Um, so I was just like watching some other beauty YouTubers and heard that this is really good as a concealer for um, irritated or acne prone skin. If you have watched my other videos, I'm having some serious skin issues right now. So I'm kind of willing to try anything to clear up my skin at the moment. Um, I particularly like this a lot because it feels so light on your skin. It's not technically a concealer, but it's like really buildable and I'm able to put it over like my scarring and blemishes under my eyes and it feel like there's nothing on my face whereas I find like those heavy like creamy concealers it's just like your skin isn't even breathing so I switched over to this a few weeks ago and am absolutely loving this so far next is actually just a little lip chap which is by Bioderma so I've worked with these guys in the past and they sent me a little care package that I totally wasn't anticipating, which is all about like winter skin and hydrating your damaged, like cracky, gross winter skin. Um, so it included like a shower gel, um, some moisturizer. They sent me like this really cute towel, like this whole box. If you had me on Instagram, then you would have seen it in my Instagram story. Um, but including in it is a mo uh, this <laughs> sorry this moisturizing stick for damaged and hydrated lips. Um, and you know, like just at the end of the winter, your your like lips get so cracky and gross. And especially if you wear lipstick on a day to day basis, like I do, it's really gross when, especially if, like a matte lipstick or a creamy lipstick, you can see like the dead skin. So. This, I find, is like the best chapstick I've ever tried in my life. You literally throw it on and your lips feel like silk instantly. Next is a hair care product. If you watched my last video, which is on how to create my big bouncy curls, you would have seen this. Um, I didn't really talk about it at all, but Boar Hair Care is a Vancouver-based hair company that I'm working with at the moment. And this is their Invisible Dry Shampoo and Conditioner and it's called She's Like the Wind. So it's got this really pretty um, artwork on the front of it, uh, but it's really unique dry shampoo. It's got like a little bit of a sparkle to it, which is kind of fun, but rather than it being a spray, it's kind of like this like puff. It's kind of weird, I'll show you. Um, I'm not gonna do it on my hair right now because I'm wearing a pony, but I'll put it in the camera. See, it's like a <laughs> sparkly puff and when you, put it in your hair, it doesn't give it that weird white residue. And like it says on the bottle, it's an invisible dry shampoo and conditioner. Um, I do find, although I love dry shampoo so much, I use it a lot. Um, this one keeps your hair like feeling the same rather than it feeling like that dry, kind of crusty, really irritating kind of feel after you put in dry shampoo. This one is like, it just makes your hair feel back to normal. Like you just, are on day one hair versus day three. Next is a holy grail product for me. So because this is my current favorites, um, my first current favorites video, I just wanted to touch on this because this is something, if you are a friend of mine, I have preached to you about. So this is the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Makeup Remover. So it's a cleanser, but it's also a makeup remover and Rather than using makeup wipes, which I used for years prior to discovering this, um, I just go in to wash my face. I don't actually use this on my skin. I just use it on my eye makeup and on my lips if I have lipstick on. Um, but when I get home from my day, I'll just come in and wash, like splash my face with water, use a little bit of this on my eyes and lips, and it doesn't irritate your eyes whatsoever. You literally just rub your eyes, your eyelids, your lips, and your makeup is gone. Like 
way quicker than makeup wipes although they're they're really great too I just find makeup wipes are sitting there like forever trying to get the makeup off your eyelids this is like splash rub gone and then you can get into like cleansing and toning and everything so Neutrogena Naturals this is an amazing product you can just get it at drugstores and I would highly recommend it next is a new one so this is kind of two products in one but this is the body shop tea tree skin clearing mattifying toner and just a tea tree oil so i was watching one of my favorite youtubers which is De desi perkins um and she has kind of like acne prone skin as well and says that she puts tea tree oil on her blemishes so i was like you know what i'm willing to try anything at this point so i went and picked this up and I found that my skin has like started to clear up anyways. It's not like great still, but this is helping, smells nice, and I'm just finding my blemishes go away a lot quicker. And then while we're still on the topic of Desi Perkins, we're gonna switch over to fashion products. So next is a pair of Quay Australia Aviator Sunnies, but this is their collab with Desi Perkins. So it comes in this really cool like see-through sunglass holder sorry they're a little bit dirty because I have been able to wear them but they're really like these oversized silver aviators which are like super bougie but <laughs> I like them I wear silver on a day-to-day -day basis so this goes into my closet seamlessly um I do have a couple other pairs of sunnies coming in like those super cool like trendy um extreme cat eye ones um but i think like for a day-to-day -day basis when i'm trying to just attain a casual look these are great so desi perkins quay australia great work and next again if you have me on instagram you would have seen this as well so this is a like baby pink millennial pink if you will leather mini i picked up um, a couple weeks ago probably from Zara. Uh, this is so cute and it was only $35. Like, come on. So I have a black one so similar that I paid a lot more for and I wear endlessly, but I wasn't really willing to pay the same price for like a trendy blushy pink color. Although this is a very neutral color and probably will be in my wardrobe for a while. Um, I think this is a great must-have for spring because it just will go with like all your fun floral florally pieces Pastel colors and again will just go into your wardrobe seamlessly So this one I got in a size medium it fits perfectly at the waist and is that little a-line cut skirt and for me It's like nearly impossible to find skirts and dresses that are like an appropriate length So I tried this on and it was perfect. So I was like, thank you so next going into kind of miscellaneous, actually this would kind of go under home decor, is a candle. So it's this guy here by Lola James Harper. So this scent is called the Fun Fair of Les Tuileries, which is number 15. So this company I came across online and I was kind of blown away by their concept. They're based in California and rather than just having an aesthetically pleasing product and a nice smelling candle, um, they offer candles, scents, potentially more, I'm not entirely sure, um, but every scent has a story behind it, and the scent is inspired by that story, so particularly I love this one because I used to visit this garden in Paris all the time, so for me it was like, oh my god, this is like a sentimental, like emotionally attached, like experience I've had and I can have that experience in a candle. I light it in my room at night when I'm like reading or just relaxing. And it's just kind of like a mental note rather than just buying a random candle at Bath and Body. Um, it's just like a really cool idea and a really cool concept. And I would love to support brands who are kind of thinking outside of the box and doing something unique. So I think this is like a really cool idea. and. Definitely if you're not interested in buying the products go on their website and read some of these stories because and I don't know if the stories are true or not, but Regardless, it's written by like a very talented writer and it's very intriguing and very interesting to listen about the stories behind all the scents Next is a phone case 
by Ideal of Sweden. If you're on Instagram, you probably see them. They're one of like the huge marketing gurus of Instagram and online marketing. Um, so I got this case when I got back from my trip in January, which was perfect timing because my wallet was stolen when I was um, at a party for New Year's Eve. So I came home walletless and by the time I got back, this was here. And this phone case is amazing. It's so cool. So basically, my phone is being used to film this at the moment, so I can't really show you, but this is a huge magnet. And there, it comes with a separate, like, very thin black phone case that you put on your phone, but it's also magnetic. So it just, like, slaps on, and you can, like, turn it upside down, and it won't fall out. Like, it's so great. And then it has all the slides for your cards, a little, like, money holder, and you can just, like, Grab this, throw it in your pocket, and like leave the house. I have plenty of other wallets in my wardrobe that I can pull out, but this is just so convenient that I have actually since I've been back, it's now February, haven't switched my cards into a true wallet because I've just been finding this to be so convenient and so easy to use. And then last but not least, this one's almost comical because um, I'm not a foodie blogger and like. I try my best to eat healthy and you know everyone has their theories gluten-free vegan blah 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 um, but I recently switched out of eating dairy because again want to try and experiment to fix my skin so I switched over to like almond milk soy um, and then coconut milk so I normally drink this silk um, almond milk for coffee in my coffees in the morning I'm having one as we speak actually uh, but they were sold out so I wanted to try out this silk coconut vanilla because I was like I can't be bothered to go to a different grocery store right now so let's just try this out and what was so funny was I threw it up on my Instagram was like hey trying this out anyone a fan let me know your thoughts and it was my most <laughs> replied story on Instagram ever I'm like, I'm a fashion blogger and people are like responding to my silk coconut for coffee milk like crazy. I on like it was so fun to talk to people who had like not messaged me on my Instagram before. But at the same time, I was talking about coconut milk from the second I posted it until like the next day. I was talking about coconut milk with strangers online all day long which was to me absolutely hilarious like i said i work at home anyways but like to me i i want to respond to everyone and everything so it was just so funny to me because i put up fashion stuff all the time and i like to think my content's pretty good but i throw up silk coconut milk and people lost their minds it was so funny but you know i really actually did like this a lot the coconut taste um along with the vanilla is really good in the milk in the coffee um i do prefer the almond one i believe but this one's really great to try as well i feel like this would be good for summer i don't know i like the almond as well but i feel like coconut that coconut vibe in the summer i might prefer so that's it for today those are all my february favorites if you really like this video, please let me know and I'll make this a monthly thing. If not, just kind of write meh in my comments and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.